that uh, Georgian Dream finally adopted the threat for our civil society and media, independent media. It will kill independent media. Uh, and uh, especially when we have upcoming election, it is uh, crucial for us to work for society and give them uh, factual information about what's going on uh, in Georgia. And our government tries to name us as agents. And in Georgia, it's like really bad connotation word. It means spies. So that's why we are protesting this. And uh, that's why we need to fight uh, against that law. Uh, it is important to protest this law because it endangers the lives of Georgian people, of Georgian democracy, and Georgia's fight for European values. Uh, it is important to stand our ground and to go to the elections peacefully and win the country over for the greater good. The condemnation of Georgia's foreign exchange law. At the conclusion of their annual meeting in Copenhagen, the board of directors of One Infra has issued a series of resolutions addressing critical issues facing the global media landscape. These resolutions, one infra's commitment to promoting a sustainable business ecosystem for the news, safeguarding media integrity, ensuring the safety of journalists, and upholding press freedom in a pivotal year for global democracy. The board of the World Association of News Publishers meeting during the 75th World News Media Congress taking place in Copenhagen, Denmark, 27th, from 27th to 29th May in 2024, expresses alarm at the recent passing of the foreign influence law in Georgia that will negatively impact the enabling environment for independent media. The one IFRA board resolves to condemn the passage of this law in Georgia and to call for its immediate repeal to call upon the Georgian government to uphold its commitment to media freedom and democratic values by withdrawing the law and engaging in meaningful dialogue with civil society and opposition groups, to urge European and international leaders to communicate unequivocally to the Georgian government that the implementation of this law will hinder the country's progress towards EU membership and depend its alignment with authoritarian regimes to encourage civil society organizations to continue monitoring the situation in Georgia closely, provide support to media at risk, and advocate for the protection of media freedom and civil liberties worldwide. So globally, we're incredibly concerned with the, with the spread of anti-democratic legislation from supposedly governments that are on the side of freedom of expression and the free media. Uh, to restrict uh, the ability of media to do their job. And Georgia is of deep concern and has been for a number of years <coughs> excuse me, um, with the spread of legislation that really looks to restrict the space for media, the space for independent media to hold power to account. So the, the timing uh, is perfect in terms of a, go a global gathering of the world's media to come out in strong force in solidarity to say to the jo Georgian government that this, the passage of this law is anti-democratic, is not in the favour of free media and open societies, and will have repercussions for our colleagues working in the free Georgian press. And they need to take absolute uh, stock of this situation before they make any further moves that we believe will threaten their accession to the European community, the European family, and for the European Union to hear this call loud and clear from our colleagues, from our colleagues in the global press, uh, and to really consider Georgia's accession to the European family because if the EU stands for anything, then it should stand for freedom of expression and human rights.